What's up guys? My name's Jesse Reed. Um, I've been skateboarding for about 33 years. Started when I was 11, I'm 43 now. Be 44 in April. And yeah, I started out skating street, or trying to. Um, and it took me a long time to get good at even the most basic of tricks. Definitely wasn't like talented at it, but man, it was the like coolest thing to me. Hence why I can't stop doing it. Um, yeah, as a, as a teenager in high school, I was lucky enough to have a mini ramp in my backyard, uh, thanks to a friend, Dan McFarlane, uh, who built one with me in my backyard. And he taught me a lot of, a lot of uh, transition skills and he taught me a lot of skateboarding and for that matter and um anyway uh but yes yeah, street skating was my my main thing most of my most of my life and uh over the course of the last 10 years or so you know i work and stuff just you know and getting older just stopped doing as much street skating and got more into park skating and and then uh, as I did that kind of got more interested in learning more transition skills and and uh, it was a skate park in Austin where I lived at house park and had some a lot of different size transition ramp little quarter pipes so allowed me to kind of practice and build my way up to learning new tricks so that was that was definitely kind of a catalyst in a way. And, and then I moved back to Houston where I'm from, uh, which is where we are now, my backyard. Um, and I was lucky enough to have a wife that was supportive of me having a mini ramp, have the means to build one and the friends to help me do it. Thanks, Nick. Um, and everybody else that helped. Uh, and yeah, so now I've had this mini ramp in my backyard for going on five years. And uh, it's pretty much all I skate, um, for better or for worse. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's great, I love it. I, I've been totally just obsessed with learning new tricks and progressing and, and have been lucky to do so. Uh, it's not without injury. I've, I've injured myself many times on this ramp and, and, but that just kind of comes with age and skating, you know, but in any case, uh, it was suggested to me that I do some trick tip videos and, and, uh, you know, I've never done that sort of thing. And sure there are plenty of them out there on YouTube and I certainly am not trying to compete or, uh, you know, say I'm better than they are at doing them. I should, I, I've never done them. So excuse my language, but, um, I'm gonna give it a shot and um, yeah I want to uh, say also that I I utilize trick tip videos a whole lot for a lot of the tricks I've learned on my ramp studying the way people do the trick I'll screen do a screen recording of the video and then like that way I can slow-mo it back and forth and just watch their body position their feet so on and so forth and uh, uh, in addition to listening what people have to say sometimes the way people explain things is not you know easy for any one individual to to you know learn from sometimes just the, the visual is better everybody learns differently so i'll try to mix that up as best i can and do it the way i think that you know works best for my teaching ability but i certainly recommend that everybody you know look into other trick tip tutorials on any specific trick you're trying to learn Chad Caruso is an amazing uh, uh, guy, skateboarder, uh, and he's amazing at doing trick tips and, and just breaking things down and making making them understandable and and easy to understand for anyone. I've certainly utilized his. And uh, yeah, a little more background. I, I um, <coughs> taught skateboarding at uh, Lake Owen Skate Camp in Wisconsin for several years. Uh, I was lucky enough to um, teach skate lessons at Air Force uh, bases across the US for a couple summers in a row, thanks to a good friend, Greg Witt of mine. 
um, and uh, and I've taught some of my own private lessons before. So I have I have experience teaching skateboarding, uh, but really it's not like I you know took a class for it. It's just teaching people how to do what I've learned to do, and so everybody does that in their own way. Um, so anyway, hopefully some of this will be helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna try to do two series, one where I teach like basic fundamental things, um, and another where I kind of start at a higher up level of tricks. Um, that way there's kind of something for everybody, hopefully. I know a lot of people started getting back into skating recently after having a huge hiatus, which I think is awesome, and certainly, you uh, can get it back, you know. You just have to take it slow and, and um, you know, just let let your your body and your mind kind of take the time to get back into it, and you'll get it. Uh, and it's all about fun. As long as you're having fun, you know, you can do whatever you want on your skateboard. It doesn't matter. Um, in any case, uh, I'll get. I'll get started here and um, you know let me know if uh, you like this if there's something you'd like to see differently or if you have any any advice or suggestions uh, comments obviously that's what people do on YouTube um, yeah so hope you like it and uh, hopefully there's gonna be a lot more to come